All right, we're back here to talk about movies and gory shit and depressing stuff that that's all this movie is. <laughs> Uh, so I saw a clip from this movie, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. It was right when we started doing this again. And immediately it was on the top of my list of like, we should watch this. Uh, and I looked a little bit into like the background of what it is. Uh, it's a movie called When Evil Lurks from 2023, came out last year. Uh, I don't know if it's a Shutter exclusive. I know it's on Shutter. I think when I watched it, the poster says a Shutter exclusive, but I don't know if it was like, if if it's just on Shutter or if it came out in the theaters. But uh, all I really knew about it was the clip I saw that I'll tell you. You might be able to guess which one I saw, um, and that it was kind of like about like this weird. Like, possession is real, and there's, uh, like, the, pr the priests that take care of it, like, all it really is is, like, a ceremony so they can kill them without, like, releasing the evil or whatever. And uh, it seemed like a pretty cool premise for a movie. Uh, so we watched it, and uh, I really fucking like this movie, Tyler. Um, I will say, the first, like, 40 minutes... I felt like it was perfect. I was like, holy shit, this movie's really firing on all cylinders. When they get to, like, uh, the farmhouse later with uh, the the old lady that uh, I think she used to be, that's like a reveal later, but she used to be, like, one of the people that went around doing the exercise. Cleaner, yeah, whatever they cleaner, call whatever they would call it. Once they got there, I felt like the movie... S uh, slow down a, l a little bit uh but not enough to like hinder my enjoyment of it uh but the the final like 15 minutes it got to a point that i was like all right i don't <laughs> i don't care about <laughs> what's happening right now um i'll explain more when we go on but as a whole uh, I really, really like this movie. Um, it was really cool. <laughs> it's re it's it's got some bleak shit in it. Uh, yeah, and I, I'm a I'm a, I was a I was a big fan of this one. Uh, Tyler, what what do you think of When Evil Lurks? Um, it was it was okay. Um. There was some weird stuff like that I, I wasn't a fan of. Like I wish there was a way to tell when someone was possessed or demonized. Mm. Um, again, but that's just me being a weirdo. Like it's nothing else. I don't know if this was like because it's on Shutter, so yeah. I don't really have. I can't tell you the production company or anything else like that. I mean, I could look at it and figure it out, but. Uh, I'm curious if the movie is just placed in Mexico, so that's why everyone spoke Spanish, or, you know, in South America, or, you know, Southern Central America. Mm -hmm. So, like, my question is, is, like, in a horror movie, especially when you're trying to look at demons and exorcist-type stuff, to read the subtitles, you kind of miss... It kind of takes away from, like, the element, right? Like, I don't know. Yeah. But again, like I have nothing against subtitles or foreign films or anything like that. It's just that was like my only. If I had like a complaint, it, it was you know that you oh. know is that like you can't tell if like well I do speak Spanish, but like if you were like <laughs> super fluent in Spanish, right? Yeah, and you knew like I have a feeling this movie would be a lot better. Yeah, I yeah, almost wondered like the bottom. Like I don't know. You know, I know you know Spanish and stuff, and you, you know you speak it. But I was like, I wonder if Tyler could turn off the subtitles and just listen to the movie. But maybe it's like, are you at a point now where you would you would be able to pick up on like the gist of everything, but it it moves too fast for you to really get like every word they would be saying. Um, as much as I'd love to lie to you and be like, <laughs> I can you know, understand Steve, every fucking yeah. word. Yeah. <laughs> uh. A lot of what I understand is normal everyday conversation. Mm. 
believe it or not, we don't talk a lot about exorcists or rules <laughs> about, you know, yeah. and such. So I would be confused, but like when he goes home and he was like, we have to leave, I uh-huh. need new clothes, stuff like, yeah, I would get all that. Okay. But like the main, you know, parts of it, I'd be like, huh? Uh huh. So I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but. All right. Yeah, the movie's good. Yeah. It's uh, a. It, I'm trying to think. It was a cool take on possession. Like, uh, I don't know if I've ever seen, uh, like, possession is a disease that people. Like, it's a known thing. Like, people know it's like, okay, yeah, possession's real. We got people that take care of it. Um,. I don't know. It was just a very, it was a very cool kind of uh, interpretation, or you know, or showcasing of what a possession could be like. <laughs> um, also, by the way, I, I I looked it I looked it up because the first thing that came to mind when I was watching it of like ha- how it spreads and no one believes them and stuff is I was like, okay, th- this sounds like covid a little bit uh i looked it up and the uh, apparently i'm gonna read this verbatim get ready (laughs) uh during a post premiere audience q a at fantastic fest director uh demian rugna (laughs) said he got the idea for when evil lurks from a series of news stories about farm pesticides and his native argentina causing widespread health issues uh, he suggests that corporate apathy about the workers' health and the way the issue occurred out in the middle of nothing, where it's easy for profiters and city dwellers to ignore the impact of their choices, uh, started him thinking about the idea of lurking evils, giving free reign to spread. So, that's a little bit of background on what this movie was trying to say, <laughs> besides so it, just being a gory it... horror movie. It wasn't COVID. It wasn't it was, COVID at all. It was like farming pesticides if, or something. Well, yeah, the fact that if it doesn't affect the rich, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Yeah, and like Javier and uh, what's the brother's name in this movie? Pedro? So, or that, But yeah, and they're out in the middle of nowhere. Like, uh, you know, it's like, oh, it's not going to bother anybody. But, you know, obviously, as we see later on in the movie. It, uh, <laughs> it, it spreads around. So, uh, before we get into spoilers, I would recommend this movie. Tyler, I assume you're on team recommend. Well, I will say I'm on recommend, but I told Tyler about this yesterday. Uh, I was on Reddit and, uh, I think the Reddit page is just straight up called horror. It's just a whole bunch of shit. And one guy posted how he, he really likes horror, but he's got to the point where he can't handle bleak or depressing horror. But he had heard about when evil lurks and that it was good and he was asking people if they should watch it and every comment was like do not <laughs> do not watch it uh yeah so i if you can't handle bleak or depressing i would say uh stay away from this one but if you're if you're fine with that i would say go ahead uh tyler i assume you would recommend this um so Weird behind the scenes. Behind the Tom scenes. Tom doesn't doesn't have kids. I am a a father. Uh Happy Father's Day. Oh, thank you. I, I don't know when that is, but no. I, I think we passed it. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. My whole thing is like this movie's bleak. It is, but like the subject matter is probably kind of hard on parents. Yeah. Um, it's the same with like a quiet place, right? Like if you're just, you know, a little, you know, 13 year old kid or whatever, you're like, all right, that was cool. Uh-huh. But then like you turn around and your, and dad's, your dad's like, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like there's a lot of things in this movie that are just hard, like, but yeah. it's still a good movie. Um, I don't know if I'd watch it with people. Yeah. Right. Like. Hey, you guys want to watch a movie? And then you put this on, and it just like, kills every fuck? sense of the movie, <laughs> right? But if you watch like Halloween or something, you'd be like, yeah. "Oh shit!" You know, here we go. But yeah, it's not a, uh, it's not a, a fun rock. 
yeah. killer movie. It's a it's a very dark <laughs> killer movie. I think that's what I mean. He's not here to defend himself, mm-hmm. but I think that's what we we don't understand about Mav is that for some reason we're sadists and we love this kind of shit, and Mav's more of a let's go stab that bitch in the eye kind of guy, right? Like he's yeah. more of a. But yeah, anyway. it's weird how how we're the ones who are like into it, but yet when we've had episodes like uh, I'm thinking like funny games, like straight off the bat, we're like uh, Naomi Watts, they're like making her strip and they just murder like the kid or whatever. Spoiler for funny games. <laughs> um, but I remember us being like, we were sitting there like, oh, like we, know, oh, you know. And Maverick was like, yeah, titties or whatever. <laughs> and we are like, yeah. no. <laughs> like, that's not, you know. Yeah, it happened to Henry, Por- Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer when the the when the when home invasion and the kid comes in and they, like, kill him. And me and you both were like, yeah, that was hard to watch. And he was like, oh, no, it was cool. And we were like, ah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I watched the most fucked up shit, but... There's certain fucked up shit that it hits that part in you where you're like, oh, man, <laughs> you're yeah, like, this is deprived, it, you know, like, I don't is know. that what you call it? <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't know what it is, I yeah. know I suffer from it, but like, I don't know. It's a good movie. Like I said, it's like a deep thought, you know, mm. it's raining outside. Your dog just died, and then you watch this movie at 2 a.m. And you just start questioning it everything. Sounds very specific. <laughs> so. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, spoiler warning for uh, When Evil Lurks. I would recommend uh, pause this, come back, and watch this. Get the get the viewership up <laughs> and the, the timeline, you know, the watch time or whatever. But I would recommend going and watch this blind, kind of without really knowing everything that happens because that's part of half of the uh the like oh shit when you're watching is like the the crazy stuff that happens uh so yeah just go into it knowing it's like a possession (laughs) possession a weird possession movie that's how i would set it up i have a weird theory on it i'll wait till after the spoiler though okay but all right hey spoiler warning for when evil lurks uh you're fucking i told you so get out of here if you don't want to <laughs> yeah. if you don't want to know anything it's not on me it's on you now that's right and i will fucking come find you sort <laughs> so what's your uh what's your theory tyler so, you know, like, and guys, this is a huge spoiler, and I'm just skipping a bunch of shit. But, yeah. like, the reason the demon affects people is because it only messes with people it knows it can affect, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, suicide is, like, a big and big no-no. And mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure, I'm sure all religion, but I know Catholics are there's, super yeah, hardcore there's, yeah. on it. You find out super late in this movie that this guy has an autistic kid. Mm-hmm. And he tried to block the heater and kill him with carbon monoxide, whatever. Him, all of them, I think, right? Well, from what I seem to remember, wasn't it just he was trying to kill himself, but the kids were home, so it would have killed them too? But I think he was trying he to didn't, kill like he was he was drunk or something. The, like yeah. he didn't know that. Yeah. Well, you never know because like they're like you don't understand. No, it was an accident or whatever. Yeah, like, and the and the and it. the brother is like that's a lie that the the mom made up so you don't know for sure we just know something yeah that that definitely happened but we don't really know the the actual circumstances or what was the outcome of it obviously you know he he didn't die or none of them died so but the the whole movies like you know we said earlier is like this demon is infected this random kid next Mm -hmm. to where they live and they keep asking the question, why is it here? Why did it come here? Why why here of all places? Yeah. And they're like, you know, oh, we're just a small whatever. Uh-huh. And I, I constantly was thinking, wait, once I heard that, if it came there because of him, right? Because of... Maybe, yeah. His sins, his yeah. transgressions or whatever. Yeah. Um, It's a really weird movie, though. Yeah. Like, 
the one I can't remember the kid's name. The which, one who was supposed to get one? clean. The one they put in the back of the truck and drove. Oh, uh, God, I don't remember his name either. Yeah. But, uh, like, that's the guy, and he's the reason the demons are there. You know, he's the infected one. He's right? the, needs to be clean. in the movie, he's the very first one you see possessed, and it's fucking, like, c crazy looking when they go in. He's, like, ballooned up. He's probably well over, like, 600, 700 pounds or something. He's leaking, like, pus everywhere. Uh, he's in tidy whities that are completely, like, stained yellow because they just can't fucking move them. Uh, yeah, he's gross as shit looking. And me and Tyler both were like, hey, Maverick's in the movie. <laughs> but, yeah. And, you, and that's the crazy thing, too, is you see him and you're like, holy shit. And then I think they're like, yeah, he's like 15 or something, however old he is. So it's a kid the whole time, but he looks like a fucking, uh, I don't know. He, <laughs> he's real gross looking. Anyway, continue. <laughs> So he's like the first infected that has the demon in him. Mm -hmm. And uh, spoiler warning, well, we already did it. We did. Uh, I don't know if he ever dies. He does, but he does. But he's not cleaned. Yeah. That being said, there's other demons running around constantly. That was, yeah, that was one of the things I didn't understand. Is like, I thought it was once the demon was in a person. It didn't affect anyone unless it got out. But yeah. we see at the end of the movie, this guy is alive. Uh, he, no, he, he's never been killed. But somehow, it I it, he starts possessing other people anyway? Yeah, like... Yeah. yeah and, like, well, in the the rules or whatever. Because mm -hmm. or, they, they give you, like, this weird, like, outline of can, what it can do and what it can't do. I can do. run them down if you want. I don't think it's part of the rules, though, but it what? may be. The seven rules. Do not use electric lights. The shadows they cast uh, draw them in. Stay away from animals. Do them no harm. Take nothing close to them. They're attached to it. Never say devil's name. Uh, that calls them. Never use a gun. You'll die yourself. Uh, do not fear death. Those are the seven rules. But then there was an earlier one where they say... First, it takes control of animals. Then it controls the dead. Yeah, and and it does. Like, don't be wrong. It, you know, it definitely it controls the dead. <laughs> so, like, I get that, right? And that yeah. lady was dead, so that makes sense, and so on. It also can like reconstruct people <laughs> because there's some people that definitely get fucked up, and then you see them, and they're perfectly fine. And uh. And children like it or whatever. Like so like there's yeah. like this weirdness there and I feel like it was playing fast and loose with its own rules. Yeah, I mean the the rules and how stuff works definitely gets muddled up. And I think the movie is like thinking, okay, well if we distract them with enough like, hey, here's a woman scooping out the brains of her son <laughs> like they will they'll yeah. ignore uh, you know, like the logistics of it. Because I assume somehow, yeah, so the guy is possessed. Uh, early on in the movie, they hear, the be movie begins with them hearing, like, gunshots out in the woods. And they're like, the one guy's like, oh, no, that's a uh, 38 or something. He's like, you can hear, you know, pop, pop, pop. And they go out the next day and they find this guy, like, cut in half. You know, that's Puma. Eh? ¿Qué digo con el gato? Oh. El tipo este lo cortaron con un cuchillo, los filos. Ah, uh, and it ends up being the cleaner that the family had sent for that with the possessed guy, and something killed him on the way to the to the house. And so they're like, "Holy shit, this guy's fucked up." They go to uh, in town to try to report it, but uh, Javier has like a reputation. Where they're like, hey, you get the fuck out of here. I'll arrest you. You know, and it the whole movie kind of sprinkles in. Like, everyone fucking hates this guy. The guy who, like, owns the... Because they live on, like, a section of the farm. But it's, like, a whole big farm, right? And the guy yeah. owns the land. And he hates Javier, too. No, he's okay with him. Well, he, he, he gives him... 
Okay, is that is that right? Why does he hate the brother? <laughs> I don't know, but that's like when they find the body and they're like, hey, you're Ru Ru Ruiz did this? It's uh, R-U-I-Z. Okay. And he was like, what do you have against this guy? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, but yeah. But anyway, so they, they go to him for help uh, and he shows up and you get like a classic... Uh, also, this movie, uh, if you could, the the guy also said that it was inspired by like Evil Dead, which makes sense. Um, but he goes in and like points a shotgun at the possessed dude, and the possessed dude is like, "Do it, do it, or and I'll kill your fucking child in the womb or whatever," because his wife's pregnant. Uh, which also is very weird because that guy looks like he's like sixty, <laughs> but he had I guess you know he's got a kid on the way. Anyway, but they decide to fucking... Uh, I love the plan where they're like, listen, we're just going to take them and we're just going to drop them in the ditch. <laughs> we're just going to take them out of here. He's not going to be our, uh, any of our problems, you know? Uh, and they do that, but then they almost fucking they hit a kid on the way and they swerve and the, the body falls out. And then they just decide, oh, well, we went far enough. So that it, it's perfectly fine. Which, by the way, I will say... Uh, it bothered me because then I, I had to rewind it to make sure. And there's no fucking body. Like, you can't see a body on the road, you know, where they swerve. There's like a big, long shot of the kid back there. There's no body anywhere to be seen. Uh, but all this is just me coming up to say that I guess somehow when that guy fell off, that kid on the bike is the first one to get possessed because we see him at the end at the school. So I was like, was he the... I, I, but st I don't know how a possessed guy then possesses someone. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? But yeah, I assume he possessed that kid, and somehow the kid just sp spread it. <laughs> I, I I don't know, but but then they you know it leads into one of my favorite moments of the movie, which is uh, the the guy who owns the farm. He goes home to his wife and shit, and he's like, all right. That's done with. And then the next morning he wakes up and his wife is just screaming her head off. And he goes outside and she's pointing over to their farm uh, or where they have a bunch of goats and shit. And she's like, that goat, that goat. Uh, and you're looking and it's like, there's so many goats. You're like, all right, which one you know, is he talking about? So he has a shotgun and he like fires it up in the air and all the goats run away except for one goat that just stays there and fucking stares at him. And he, like, points the gun at it, and he's like, you fucking piece of shit, you know, and he's, like, cursing it and, go, you know, go to hell and stuff. And the goat just walks up to him and just puts his head <laughs> right there uh, with the shotgun. And uh, the, the goat does a little, like, bah, and then the guy immediately blows its fucking head off. And you're like, oh, that was pretty crazy. And then all of a sudden, his wife behind him comes up and just whacks him straight in the head with an axe. And you're like, holy shit. And then she gets down on her knees and just starts whacking herself in the face with an axe. <laughs> and, uh, boy, she was making sure the job got done, too. Like, up until she's literally falling down, the axe is still coming up to, like, get another hit. But she, like, falls over before it can get her. And, uh, yeah, that was, that was, uh, <laughs> that was crazy. Um, once again, I'm assuming that, like, at that point, the wife is like, okay, if I take us out, it won't, maybe I can stop it from spreading, like, that particular demon or whatever. Uh, but, obviously, I don't think it, <laughs> I don't think it works. It, well, like I said, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, like, if you think about it too much, like, how it all came to be, but. Because the demon wasn't in that goat. <laughs> no. Yeah. So like, it... but but it was cool, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, that scene was fantastic, <laughs> and like, but that's before you even know. Everyone's like, before that, they're like, "Don't shoot! You can't shoot it! Don't shoot yeah. it!" Yeah, and, and you're like, "What?" Yeah, they they haven't told you. Well, why the fuck can't I shoot it? And then finally, you see, like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> okay. Yeah. So um, it's like I don't know, but I mean, again. Like, it's, 
I have a feeling if you focus on like the rules of the demons and stuff, it, it takes it, away it, a lot it, from the movie. It, it would kill. Yeah, I think it would kill your enjoyment of the movie if you tried to like really break down like why is this happening. And then they, but then they use the rules later. So it's like what they do use the rules later. So it's like you have to pay attention to it, but at the same time, it kind of ruins it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I really like. It's weird because um. I have this problem a lot with, like, when we watch a movie with, like, foreign-speaking language, where it's like, okay, how do you, uh... like, in my mind, everyone I was watching, I was like, oh, man, they're really doing a good job of acting. But then I was wondering, like, if someone, like, in Argentina or whatever was watching it, they're like, man, these guys are shit, you know what I mean? Like, is it just, does it seem better because I don't, because... I'm trying to think of... You know what I'm trying to say? Like, they're not speaking English. Yeah. So in my mind, it's like they're killing it right now. But maybe if they were uh, speaking English, I'd be like, oh, I don't know. Maybe that's why I think that all the Yakuza games have the best voice acting in all. <laughs> in all video games. <laughs> no comment. Okay. Yeah. Uh, There's a guy who doesn't watch anime but loves Yakuza. Listen, like, mm. completely different. <laughs> completely different um yeah but anyway uh the next well, knowing also, now yeah what i know that the guy's from argentina and like he's basing things off of that and such like it kind of this movie was just made in spanish right like, yeah it's just or like you know everyone involved in it it's a spanish made movie yeah so or argentinian made movie Argentina, so like yeah. It's one of those things, and I'm going to call it now, and you tell me if I'm wrong. Who's calling it? Five years from now, they'll make the same movie, but in English. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, they're already working on, like, a train to Busan, but it's English. And it's like, what? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Anything that's even a remote hit, like, you know, that's not English, they're like, we got to redo it. It's like you don't have to. You could just watch the, <laughs> the one that's not you know not in English. But yeah, it'll probably it'll get like an American remake at some point. Um, so okay, so they end up, they go. They're like, all right, it's bre shit's breaking out. We're getting the fuck out of here. Uh, so they have a fun moment where all I could think about was Shaun of the Dead, where he's like, all right, we'll go get my kids, we're gonna get mom, we're gonna pack up, and then in my mind I was like, we'll go to the Winchester, have a nice pint, <laughs> and yeah. wait for all this to blow over. Um, Sorry, but headbutted my mic. Oh, no. Are you no, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, uh, they go to pick up, uh, Javier gets dropped off with his kids and the, and the wife and the stepdad. You learn that too. Uh, and the brother goes to like pick up the mom. Um, they go inside. So th th this is, I guess this is once again, how maybe shit spreads because they go in. He's like, Hey, get everyone packed up. We got to get the fuck out of here. Also, he's just stripping down naked in the middle of the kitchen. And I was like, you could have done it like in the bathroom or something, you know? Uh, <laughs> but he's like stripping off. They got this big fucking like bull mastiff, right? Was that the dog? It's been like two weeks yeah. since I watched it. <laughs> it's a, it's a big one. Okay. And he comes over and he's like sniffing at the clothes and shit. Uh, the wife comes down. They're having a big fucking argument about, you know, you're, you're not supposed to be here. I think she has a restraining order against them. I think if I remember correctly, uh, yeah. she's like, get out of here where you're a liar. You know, he's trying to tell him, listen, there's a possessed, uh, you know, it's breaking out. We got to get out of here, but they don't believe him. Which is weird because it's common knowledge. Like, for us, if I came to your house and told you that, you'd be like, oh, been <laughs> we got to get the fuck out of here. Oh. Yeah, but. <laughs> See, I trust you, buddy. See, I was ready to go. Right as you said yeah. it then. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. And that that is kind of weird that, like, so many people don't. It, once again, it goes back to the, like, why would one be out here in the middle of nowhere or whatever? But, yeah, the fact that so many people don't believe him 
when it's a known like all right possession's real <laughs> you know what i mean uh yeah it is weird that just they refuse to believe him but anyway they're arguing and they're arguing and they're arguing and the whole time it keeps doing this one shot of down the hallway where they're arguing and the bull mastiff that was sniffing on the clothes is sitting next to like the little girl and then all of a sudden, just in the middle of the argument, the fucking bull mastiff just reaches over and just grabs this little girl by the fucking head and just starts shaking and, like, runs off. The little brother comes down and there, he looks, like, under the kitchen table and there's a shot of just the fucking bull mastiff just, like, <laughs> just, like, shaking the shit out of this kid. And he just runs out of the house with her. Uh, that was the scene that I saw, Tyler. <laughs> Where I was like, holy shit. I was like, we get, we need to watch this fucking movie. Um, yeah. They, they kept showing the dog and kind of foreshadowing it. Yeah. And like, but it still didn't, didn't help with the case any. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I got, like, uh, uh, the dog sniffed the clothes that was around the possessed guy. So now he's possessed. I guess... Uh, I guess maybe, like, if I'm trying to think about it, <laughs> after we said we weren't supposed to think about it, but, yeah. so it's easy for them to possess kids and animals, right? So maybe they can just, like, give a, l give a little bit of themselves to them or, or something, and then whenever one of them either kills someone or, like, hurt someone they can get into their body and go up the food chain i don't i don't know <laughs> i'm trying my best to to come up with something uh but anyway they they go chasing after the dog the dad is like do not <laughs> do not fucking shoot him uh you know yeah. he say he has a line where he's like you won't find the dog you'll find the demon or whatever but by the time he shows up the guy's already fucking blown off the dog's head or whatever and he's like i have fuck you know he walks back home and this is what i mean where the daughter is outside and everyone's celebrating and they're like you're back you're back and she's completely fine so i guess the possessed can like reconstruct people like uh make them look normal um i don't know but yeah and then she <laughs> the mom's like hugging her and uh the kid goes uh daddy's gonna kill you when he comes home and she's like what and the kid's like, daddy comes in the car and boom. <laughs> yeah. And then sure that the dad all of it just comes out of nowhere and just slams the fuck into uh, the mom and the little girl. Uh, and then once again, the girl is like, the dad wakes up and he looks over and the girl's like over here dancing around. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, I did enjoy that when uh, <laughs> the guy saw the the little girl with the mom he doesn't even like think about going over there he just immediately grabs his son's hand and just goes walking <laughs> towards the car uh yeah that's also when we're introduced to the the like autistic non uh, non-verbal aut autistic uh, i don't know yeah because he doesn't yeah, talk I mean, yeah well he, d he does but not whatever <laughs> he does talk eventually yeah uh yeah, and so he takes them, and they just get the fuck out of town. And when they pick up the brother with the mom, and then uh, the wife calls him, and she has the thing like, that's why I hated you, and I fucked everyone else, you know, uh, you know, while you were gone. Uh, and he, like, slams the phone down or whatever. Uh, that, like, 40-minute section of that movie I thought was perfect. And then they go to the to the lady's house that correct me if i'm wrong. so was she a teacher that the brother was fucking because she's like 20 years old she's a got like gray hair and stuff yeah i just think they did a bad job of showing the brother's age is that it or yeah he was like i was younger she was younger or whatever but like yeah I but think... she's clearly older than him yeah so yeah I... but i don't know i think it was meant to be like 10 year difference not you know, whatever. That, yeah. It looked much more. It was like 60 and 40, right? So. Yeah, I'm almost, I almost want to see what they really were in real life. Um, but anyway, can I talk about something that 
I wonder if you picked up on too that I was like, hey, wait a minute, what's this all about? So eventually, the the possessed mom comes and steals the son out of the out of the barn or whatever, uh, and she goes running off. They send the brother to go after her and find her because Javier and the lady, the lady used to be a cleaner. She knows how to do the whole possession thing. She tells them uh, that to stop it, they have to like clean the original guy, right? Like the one who started it all. And they tell her like, oh, it was this big fat dude. And we dropped him on this <laughs> on the side of the road or whatever. So they go to like look for her. Um, or look for him. So the brother goes looking for the mom that stole the, the kid. He eventually finds her. And this is what I mean. There's a shot of where he's like driving and he'll turn on like the lights for a second and then turn them off and then turn them on and turn them off. And he sees her and he comes up next to her and she's just walking and she's like scooping just out like the brains of this fucking like a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. Just like clean in the brain uh, and, and she'll eat them and shit. And so he, like, backs up and just fucking slams the car into her and drives her into a tree. And her head sticks through the windshield. And she's got this big hole in her forehead. And she's just dripping out brains. And it's, like, plopping. It's making these gross plopping noises. But when she's laying there, she goes, uh, she says, like, the brother's name, whatever his fucking name was. And she goes, uh, you said you loved me. And I heard that, and I was like, I was like, do you think that, and they talked about how the brother was always a ladies' man. Do you think that him and the the wife had something going on? So, I think. I think, I, I went as far as thinking, I was like, is that kid, the little one that was getting his brain scooped out, was that his kid? I think the demons can tell, like, your wants and desires and, like, your deep secrets and stuff. Because uh -huh. they're always trying to antagonize. They're always saying stuff like that, right? Yeah. So maybe, like, his whole, like, sin or whatever, whatever was, yeah. like, you know, wanting his brother's wife or whatever. I, I don't know. Like, it was a weird thing, but maybe the dude was just, so, you know, horny or whatever, right? Like, I guess. Well, they talk about the only... Is the only kid he had with the lady, the the main guy, it's the autistic kid. And were any of the other two his? Because I know the little girl was the, the new dad. The little one. The boy. The little boy was his too? Okay. Yeah, papa, papa. Or, or was it? Because it might have been the brothers. Also, I, I, I have to correct this now because I, I looked it up. Uh, the main The main guy's name is not Javier. Where did we get Javier from? You just said two random Spanish names, and I just went with it. I, I swear someone in this movie was it. The main character is Pedro. So I was right when I said Pedro, but I thought it was the brother. And the brother's name is Jimmy. J-I-M-I. There you go. That, yeah, that's not... Uh, so not Javier. <laughs> Do not listen to what I was saying. I'm trying to, I was trying to find how old these fucking people are and none of them have like information ready I to go. To. I think it's, you're focusing on weird details that you shouldn't focus on. I, it, it annoyed me. <laughs> but anyway, I, I, I was wondering if you had the same, uh, cheating theory as I did. I, once I heard that, I was like, they, it, they have something. Yeah, I on? think, I think he just had desires for the wife and as a demon they were like hey they they know all that yeah yeah just like the sinful stuff right maybe like yeah. she didn't die and was like i thought you were gonna take up landscaping ah mm -hmm. you know like it wasn't like normal stuff but yeah like a sinful thing how do you how do you feel about the the ending when they're in the school because i they got to the school and i would for so, i was like i don't fucking care about i was so, i was i was checked out at that point for some reason and then the guy is like it just becomes stupid 
like they're trying to lure him into the other room to get him away from the cleaner lady and he just goes when it's clearly like a trick and they just immediately turn around and fucking kill the cleaner lady and i was yeah, like most How? any way possible <laughs> yeah yeah they just keep oh, they, they keep dragging her away and just keep wagging her with a hammer <laughs> but it's like a little kid whack yeah yeah but Pretty i good. i yeah Am I the am I the only one? I thought I was so done with the movie by that point where I was like, let's wrap it up. I don't know. <laughs> um. Yeah, but it was like it was before that when the they're like they're all lying to him. Mm -hmm. No, the body's over here. No, the body's over yeah. here. Yeah. And then he grabs the little girl. <laughs> Obviously, beats you can the tell. Shit out of her. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you fucking idiot, yeah. or whatever. And I was just like, dude. It, yeah you're the one looking for it like it's nothing to do with anything else yeah i hated the whole kid section in the school um yeah and the, the little kid section earlier was perfect which it was super one creepy. when the, the in the classroom the, no the little girl like, like when tells her mom she's gonna die oh yeah 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 that's good and then they brought all these other kids and i don't know if the little girl's like the director's daughter or something uh -huh. but she was just horrible yeah, and um, the yeah, and the one little girl is supposed to act like she's not possessed and being like, "You need to leave. They're <laughs> they're trying to kill you." Yeah, and then I I couldn't understand. Once again, we're getting back into the rules. I was like, "Why don't they? Why don't these things just attack them now?" You know what I mean? And then they like wait to attack, and sometimes they just let you walk by, but sometimes they're immediately attacking you. Sometimes they just fuck with you, like, I, you know what I mean? I was like, so, what is happening? I think the demon's main goal was to be killed without being cleaned. And they knew, like, the lady would never do that. They knew uh -huh. that, you know, certain people, you know, would have followed the rules or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think that's like, I, like I said, I think the guy trying to kill himself and his kids, he was like the main target the whole time. Okay. But like I said, that's just that's the only thing in my mind that makes it work. Yeah. Um, I will say though, I was completely checked out, but I did very much enjoy the shot of after like the lady gets killed or whatever, and Pedro's like sitting there. You just hear like Pedro, and it, he looks, and it's not, and it's like just the top of this dude's bloated ass fucking head sticking out from the stage that he's buried in, like a whack a mole. And then the guy just goes over and he picks up. I don't even remember. Was it was just a piece of wood or something. No, it was the barrel because the oh the yeah the weird like is thing like a crossbow yeah or like a harpoon gun almost right yeah yeah and it's like the gun part of the harpoon but not the pointy bit yeah and, and he just and goes over and just fucking whack <laughs> just starts whacking into his head uh, and he kills him and then, and then the weirder the movie happens. yeah he like birth births out i can't say that fucking word he like a demon kid comes out of him like uh, maybe the antichrist maybe just another it was at the point where i was like well does that mean all these other kids were born this way or are they still just possess kids and then yeah he comes out and he like just like smears like the three once again the devil the three uh red lines or whatever on the pedro's forehead and he just walks out of the school and all the kids follow him and they just walk off into this field and i was like oh <laughs> i was like okay so i'm not yeah, i'm not yeah, exactly yeah. sure what that means and what it, what it does and what what goes on after that <laughs> i think the three lines marked that he's like damned right like, yeah because he's released the, the demon in the world or whatever yeah that being said it's it's a very strange way to, to end it. Yeah. So uh, I was like, cool. So we get no... Well, that's not the end. It's not the end. That's just the end of that particular yeah, yeah. guy. I forgot. I forgot. There's like 20 minutes. There's a... That. Yeah, there's the big uh, reveal, I guess. Where... Yeah, so that happens. And I, at that point, I was like, uh, okay, sure. I, let's end the movie. But they're like, nah, we got some more. So Pedro goes back to the, they're back home now. They're back at the farm where everything started. Um, 
he meets up with uh, his brother and they like hug and shit. Uh, he goes into like his barn to I don't even remember just to get something. Um, or no, uh, the brother Jimmy he goes into the barn, and at the very beginning of the movie, the guy who the big bloated possessed guy also had a brother. Uh, and before they left the farm, the brother had showed up the night before and said that something had took his mom, right? Or something killed her or something. And so he didn't want to, he wanted to stay with them for the night. So they just made him stay, uh, in the, in the barn. He also, he had, uh, what, what was it? You're the gun guy, Tyler. 38. Yep. <laughs> okay. And he had five bullets. Uh, and so there was always a shot of like the gun and like the five bullets standing up when he comes back to the farm, when he gets back, we notice that there's a bullet missing from the, uh, from the group. And so, uh, it turns out that this kid was the first possessed one and he killed the, the, the dead guy we found way back in the beginning that was cut in half the original cleaner. He's the one that killed him. Uh, he ate some of them. He killed the mom, his mom, and he ate some of her. Uh, I think he possessed, he's the one that possessed the, the brother. Um, and he, yeah, he's the one that started all of this. And this is where I get a little, a little confused, so maybe you can help me out. Earlier in the movie, also, the, the, la the cleaner lady that they were staying with took a look at the autistic kid and said, come here, this kid's possessed. I've seen it in autistic people where they get possessed and their brain is all, you know, wired weird. Uh, so the demon has to, like, try to reconstruct it. And you can see, like, his hands, like, trying to, you know, it's like the demon's trying to figure everything out. And, and then, they're purple. And, and they're purple, too. yeah. They're like a different color, yeah. And then there's a scene later where he just comes walking into the living room and he's like, hi, Grandma. Can I get some apple juice or so? Or can you make something hot to eat or something like that? And he walks by her and like brushes her hair or whatever. And it, it's a pretty creepy uh, like visual to see this kid and you know. I paused at that moment because I was like, "Who the <laughs> fuck is this kid?" Like I didn't know who the who fuck is this guy. <laughs> if it was, I thought it was the kid who was sleeping in the stable. Yeah. And like I had to pause, and I was like, "What <laughs> is going on?" And then when I figured it out, I went, "That was good." Because, yeah. Like I said, I have, you know, I yeah. was like, it lost me. I was focused on it. And there's not a scene of like the grandma freaking. She's just so shocked by what ha she just sits there, in like just still terror, just like as he walks by. Uh, yeah. And so uh, the kid, the autistic kid, he's back to being normal, I guess. And he's sitting there, and I will say, by the way, I was glad, because they opened that freezer in the farm at the beginning of the movie, and I was like, do they have fucking toilet paper in there? What the fuck is that? And so when they get back, they take it out, and it's ice cream, but it's in, like, this styrofoam container. Uh, it's apple ice cream. Which, which was crazy. Which was crazy, and it was crazy that they were mad that the store they went to does, didn't have apple ice cream. They were like, who the fuck doesn't have apple ice cream? So maybe that's a really big fa flavor in Argentina. Because I've never even heard of apple ice cream. But I will admit, though, it looked tasty as fuck uh, in that bowl. But the kid's eating it, and he starts choking and shit. And uh, Pedro comes over, and he's like, hey, you know, slow down, son. But the kid's still choking. So he, like, starts to dig out the ice cream. But then eventually, he, like, grabs a hold of something and pulls it out. And it's these strands of gray hair and uh, blood and chunks of flesh and so it ends up being that I think it was the kid in the barn killed the grandma and fed it to the kid. Or was it just the demon and that kid killed the grandma and ate it? Um, so because the bullet was missing. I, Someone shot the grandma. <laughs> what I took from it, right, uh -huh. was that the, the kid in the stable from the very beginning of the movie. We don't have a name, so let's call him, like, Frank. I think he did have a name, but who, who cares? Yeah, I don't remember what it was. Yeah. I think Frank killed his mom and ate her and fed her to the pigs. I think the same demon that was in Frank is now in... I think there's two demons. Okay. One in his his big brother, who ended up being a little baby once he died. <laughs> uh -huh. And then I think the other demon, who's in the super autistic guy, yeah. was in Frank... 
and then went to the autistic kid, killed the grandma, ate her. Uh-huh. And that's that's where we were, right? Okay. At that point. Yeah, because so. the kid still is possessed at the end. Or at least they allude to that. Because as, as, after he pulls out all the shit, the kid's like this. And he's like... And he like does like yeah. a weird, creepy side eye look at the dad. Um, hey, creepy Tom. You were <laughs> like, oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> Not you too. <laughs> Swallow any necklaces lately? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, and so that's the that's the big room, and then ha- uh, not Javier. I God, I keep wanting to call him Javier. Pedro goes mm-hmm. outside, oh, and uh, you get a classic, you know, falling down to the knees. And I will say though, I'm always a sucker for when people are like death screaming. They're like ah, but it cuts out the audio, so you don't actually hear them screaming. You just see it, and it's playing like this this. Uh, really dreadful music and it's just it's just a really dark ending to the movie uh yeah and that, that's it so i'll i'll who even knows where the fuck they go from there like <laughs> there's nowhere uh, i don't i don't know if there's anywhere to go i mean they already unleashed a new demon kid uh i understand yeah if i'm not mistaken just some little hints mm-hmm the city, the Pueblo, yeah. um, I had already killed all the electric power, and they were taking... Yeah, um, I forgot to mention, yeah, that, that happened. They were taking measures to, like, purge or whatever. Yeah. So ideally, I, and I honestly, I don't know who's in charge of the cleaners and all that. Apparently mm-hmm. it seemed like federal, you know, it was government. It was, yeah, you know, it was government shit, I think. So I'd have to imagine that... They're all going to just come in and, and wipe and clear everything out. Like, finally, like, the authorities were there. Maybe. Which just seems weird to talk about authorities and, you know. Yeah. You know, in the the scope of uh, this. Yeah. But. By but the way. Yeah, so, like, it doesn't end happy, but it doesn't really end. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's still ongoing. <laughs> uh, I went on IMDb and was looking at the characters of the movie. Uh, not a single one is named Javier. <laughs> the guy who owned the farm, his name was Ruiz. I remember mm-hmm. that now. But and only like five people in the movie have uh, pictures on IMDb. Everyone else is just a blank, a blank, uh, blank square. But so far, so far, one day. Well, let's be honest. Um. And I can speak for Letterbox. I can't speak for IMDb. Uh-huh. Uh, internationally, the market seems to be kind of growing, right? Like, yeah. On Letterbox, if y'all didn't watch our, you know, seven-hour take on two hundred fifty <laughs> whatever movies, um, a lot of like Asian markets, I guess, would the way the the, the it, Asian market in horror is fucking huge, which I always knew. Uh, but what, reading that list, it really shines through. Like, it, I bet you half of that list was an Asian horror movie. It seemed like it seemed like everyone we looked at. Yeah, so it's like so IMDb. Like, you know, maybe these actors aren't super famous, but yeah. they're not famous because they're not in the American market, right? So it's yeah. There's, there's got to be, and I, I don't know if Argentino be Argentinian, Argentinians, <laughs> be like, I don't know the proper terminology or yeah, whatever, yeah. but maybe like, you know, you have like the Latin Grammys and the Latin Oscars and stuff like that. So maybe they are famous and we just don't know them, mm-hmm. but like IMDb, you updated yourself, don't you? So I don't know. Yeah. Everyone did really good except for that one little girl. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not a big fan of, uh child actors uh so. yeah i mean child actors it's always it's hard to critique because they're kids but at the same time it's not it's very rare to get one that you're like they really knocked it out of the park you know most of the time yeah. it's like okay they they did what they did you know but well you get like the weird one like uh what's the kid from the sixth sense joel osman yeah who you just know is fantastic or whatever who does really well uh-huh. you're like cool um, you know, and then you get like, what's well, the girl from Matilda? Like, you know, folks like that. Yeah, yeah. And then you get like kind of bad ones, and I'm gonna catch a lot of shit from this. Don't but do like it. Like eighty percent of Stranger Things cast. Oh yeah. I mean, and they're Dude, like so. 
I know we're still in the When Evil Lurks podcast. We're winding down, so we're, we we won't go off on a tangent. But how yeah, fucking <laughs> how fucking crazy is it? I've never watched the show, but what the final season is? What season four? Season five? The show has been around for like thirteen fucking years, and they've only done four. Se- like, how long have y'all been waiting for the last season? I swear to God, the la- it's been like five years of making the last season. Like, these kids are, like, 30 by now. <laughs> and they still have to pretend to be like, oh, I'm 15. Anyway, I that mean, was my tangent. <laughs> it's just... I mean, I'm just going to throw this out there, and, you you know, feel free to comment. Uh-huh. But it's like, when you're not part of a fandom, yeah. it seems crazy. Like, well, you know, why are people waiting for this? That being said, uh, when's that next uh, Song of Fire and Ice coming out? Fucking never. <laughs> <laughs> but like you know, I and again, uh, I'm not like calling you out, but I I don't know what the allure I'm, of Stranger Things is. Yeah, I, I'm not, I've seen two seasons. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, I kind of like the, the the actor guy. I don't know Frank Harper or whatever his name mm, is. The yeah, sheriff. yeah, yeah. Um, I actually just watched Hellboy with him in it the uh-huh. other day, and it was. It was god awful, but yeah, it wasn't good. <laughs> but like, he was good in Black Widow, you know. Anyway, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Like... I'm not like I'm not like calling out fans for waiting. I'm just calling out like the showrunners for being yeah. like, I look. 2016 is when it started. It's made four seasons. So yeah, like that's that's crazy. <laughs> that's well, a. That seems... yeah. So it's to call it a show is kind of bad because it's an hour long. And I think they have 12 episodes. Mm-hmm. But, like, so, yeah, they're, like, they're taking two years to make one episode. I want to say somewhere in there there was the writer's block. May- yeah, so maybe, the writer's strike. Yeah, so maybe it isn't, you know, fucking, you know, one every two years. But that's what, it, you know, the math shows. Yeah. But it's not it's not that bad. Uh, no. I mean, I We're getting to the age now where it's, like, they're making you wait two, three years for a new season of a show. Like, it used to be every year you get a new season. Uh, well, like, okay, well, let me ask you. It's just because, yeah. you know, we're going on a tangent here. We are. I said we weren't. <laughs> um, what makes you more mad? The fact that you have to wait two years for the next season? Because, let's be honest, I think Game of Thrones did the same thing to us. Yeah, yeah, how, yeah. Game of Thrones did, and this House of Dragons show is doing it too. Where I think they've said it's going to be like two years before the next one. So I mean, and you know, obviously that's frustrating to you. Mm-hmm. What makes me mad or more mad or upset is the shit like the Lord of the Rings movies, where they film all three movies at the same time and they keep them. <laughs> so all the movies are done, but yeah. they're like, hey, yeah, you're gonna have to wait two years to see this, and yeah. it's like, but it's done, you know? And, <laughs> yeah. Well, that happened with uh, the American Horizon Dawn or whatever the fuck they call it. Where, like, he's filmed both of them. And I think originally yeah. he was like, all right, the second one will come out in August. But then the first one fucking bombed, which, of course, it did. What was he thinking? And then, so now they're like, we're, I think we're going to wait to put out the second one. So who knows when it'll come out. Anyway. Well, that's uh, Wind Evil Lurks. <laughs> Uh, like we said, it's a it's a good movie. There's a lot of crazy moments. Um, if you uh, if you pay attention to the rules and why stuff is happening, it maybe gets a little muddled up. Um, so so just question. try to put that out of your mind. It was a good movie. What would you change to make it great? I In would, your mind, I would hire um, Bruce Campbell. To come and cut off his hand and have a chainsaw hand. <laughs> I don't think you're taking my, taking my question seriously. I feel like I'm being mocked. I, you want to know what, honestly? And it might not make the whole movie as a whole better, but I think it would just make me more comfortable if we got a scene. Like, if we got a scene of that kid on the bike find you know coming up to like the fat guy the possessed guy and be like what the fuck and we see like the possession take place then just so in my mind i'm like okay i can kind of infer how all these other people 
get possessed. You know what I mean? That's the that's the that's the first thing that comes off of my head. Is just give me one scene showing how this happens. I'm gonna ask you a random question, and All it's right. just because I missed it, but I didn't want you to go on for 25 minutes about what it was. Okay. They go to move the the uh, bloated, uh, unclean body. Uh huh. And something falls out of his hand, and it's like a piece of paper and like a matchbook or something. Yeah. And the brother looks at it, and they never talk about it ever again. And I just have no clue what it was. I think, um, unless this was a different movie I watched, I think they find the piece of paper later. No, it's a different piece, different movie I was watching, I think. I was thinking they find the piece of paper later, and it shows like him drawing, like killing people or something. Well, no, this was like, I, it was folded up, and it had like a weird like symbol on it. Mm. And he was having his hand, and when they try to pick him up off the bed, and he falls on the floor or next to the thing, and then it yeah. like falls out of his hand, and maybe it was money. I don't and know. And then the brother, because there's a lot of weird stuff in here where like they should have done things differently, and they don't. Mm -hmm. Like not like you know, oh, they should have shot the scene differently, but like the people in the movie keep fucking up, and yeah. like you know. You can't say the devil's name, and then they list all the devils the in the grandma, car. grandma, as, yeah, literally as she says that, just starts, Lucifer, Beelzebub. <laughs> like, so my thing was, if that kid dropped, like, you know, 10 bucks, and uh -huh. the brother was like, yoink, and then put it in his pocket. Yeah. So, like, that's the only thing, but, like, I, it was such a throwaway scene, and no one ever says anything about it. Yeah. Um, later on, they talk about how he doesn't have money for ice cream. So I was like, well, you know, I figured he'd be like, hey, I got this 10 bucks. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. But they don't. And I was just like, huh. Yeah. Like I said, I, I don't know what it was. So yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure I think either. if you uh, you look at the movie again, everyone has like a sin, right? Yeah. Like the what? brother is, you know, Lust, you know, you know, don't cover your neighbor's wife or whatever. Yeah, or, yeah. Uh, the dad tried to kill whatever. I don't know what the mom would be, but I'm sure know. she has something. Yeah, but, like I said. Well, it might it, it might be the same as the brother if they actually did do something. Uh, no, I was thinking that maybe it's something to do with drugs because there's that weird scene where she's like, "Hey, I, I'm on drugs." try to sleep or something uh, maybe i don't know and it was really weird like i said i don't know like there's yeah. such takeaways or whatever not takeaways but just throwaway things but in this type of movie nothing's a throwaway thing so yeah unless it's long legs and then it's just nonsense for nonsense <laughs> anyway anyway all right well uh yeah that'll do it for this one um thanks for watching uh next up uh no idea we have a whole big old list from the 250 horror movies we watched so it might be one of those it might be that movie with the what is it called uh violent nature or whatever following the serial killer um it might be some random bullshit you never know uh link yeah, yeah. off your new tattoo Kind of horror. You're gonna turn, yeah, it's horror. But it's a, uh, it's all bloody and muddled oh, up. Oh yeah, maybe, uh, maybe yeah, maybe. Yeah, but it's a. Uh, we'll wait. Yeah, it's we'll the. Uh, the Mars yeah. attacks Martian. So that's pretty cool. I was gonna say Tyler, show yours, but then I realized one, your camera doesn't work, and two, it's one you already had that you just got touched up. Does look really cool though. So, <laughs> looks brand new. Um, I mean, if you want, you just post the. I could, but insert photos yeah. here uh but anyways link to the gaming channel and uh our letterboxed accounts you can go you know we're, we're, Man, watch, we're watching you haven't done nothing <laughs> i have but not, you did not a couple reasonable. and one of them was just to make me mad because you gave like <laughs> a five star to midsummer and you were like the greatest thing ever Anyone who doesn't like it is <laughs> a piece of shit <laughs> i don't think i did it just to make you mad wow well, yeah. Um, also, you just straight give, up, uh, you just straight up lied on your long legs one. <laughs> I did. I did. Like, yeah, I was going to say, I did, uh, yeah. like, one of the reviews I did was very, like, tongue in cheek. Well, yeah, yeah. Upon my second viewing, I, the nuance. Blown is away by the nuance. Breathless. <laughs> <laughs> How do you check to see if people have seen your review? Uh, I don't know. Every now and then you get a like. <laughs> so... But I don't I don't even know how to check likes. Yeah. Well, anyway. 
link to that you can go you know we'll, we watch some other shit we you know we might post about it on there uh but yeah anyway see you guys next week maybe whenever whenever we get around to making a, a new episode and uh yeah see you then bye